previously on Sunset 10. I have to do some inspections. Nobody's behind the counter. Come in, you sexy man. How does that feel? Hey, what's going on? We'll give you the right to use our money to fly yourself to Vegas. Enjoy your stay, because that's where you're sleeping. I was thinking what I would have to do to be considered as a regional manager. Uh, it's a big jump, yeah. dude. You know, show us. Obviously, Anya's new. I started working at Sunset Tan because Nick is my boyfriend. Now that Anya's working here, it might add as a little bit more of a distraction. If you want, I'd love to give you a makeover. I think it'll help your overall confidence. Wow. That's amazing. Erin will be ready. I do not think she's ready for management. She's the best one for the job right now. I'll be damned if I'm going to leave that store with someone who's not fit for the job. Once I start to feel more comfortable with myself, I think I'll do an amazing job. There was a big party <laughs> that Sunset Dan was sponsoring. We dressed up extra special for this party. We wore sexy airbrush t shirt Yeah, it tickles when they paint right there. It's kind of cold. Woo! <laughs> it is cold. Woo! <laughs> Playground or is this my salon? What are you guys doing? Sorry. Seriously. Kim, this is Hi. child one and child two. I'm sorry, this is Hi, Molly Kim. and Ollie. Hi, nice Holly. Holly. This nice is to Kim, you. guys. You brought her in a tan? tan? Yes, I wanted to tan. Today I brought her in Kim Kardashian, celebrity, kind of a socialite. I uh, brought her in in hopes that she'd enjoy herself and uh, spread the word of Sunset Tan. You could do the low pressure or the high pressure. Low pressure is low pressure and high pressure is more. <laughs> I think I'll do high pressure. High pressure? Yeah. OK. OK. Um, I already have dark what's your skin. Name? Kim. OK. Hold on. I have to figure out how to get out of this part. Here we go. OK. okay. Kim, you said? No, last name. Uh, Kardashian. K-A-R-D-A-S-H-I-A-N. What are you doing, high pressure? Yeah. Do you know which one that is? No. You know, I'm sorry about this, Kim. Let me check you in over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you come down here? I'll sorry. get you checked in. So sorry about that. Sorry. Let me you take it to your bed. Put some That's going on us, you know? So we'll give you a little base right now. Cool. Any questions? You good to go? She's got a booty. Fill mine in the morning. We can fill hers and see some, like, farmer. That's a good butt. Oh, hi. <laughs> you guys are killing me. There's nobody Listen, in here. Listen, she's a sweetheart. She could bring a lot we of mean to really her. good business to our salon. And do you think the service you gave her right now was adequate? That was embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. I know you can do better than what you've been doing. Wow, how was, was it? Thank you so much. It was Dang. really good. I think I got dark. You look darker. I want to come in, not tomorrow, but the day after. OK, okay we'll be here. Nice to see Thank you. you. It was Thank nice you so to see much. you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Love your butt. <laughs> I sit in this chair, and um, because I know that the first people that walk in the door usually go there. Well, when I leave, you can you can take the chair. How about I give you the chair over there? Anya's supposed to have the day off, and she gets called in. She's never worked with me, so my main fear is I don't want to bring work into the relationship. It's gonna be a long shift, huh? Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't like this. You should be excited. Are we gonna get any customers, or is this how is this how it is here? <laughs> 
just like a little bratty today. Let's just relax. Let's play a game. <laughs> Sit down and relax. You're making me nervous. Why? It's okay, we can get to know each other quality time. At work. At work. Anya thinks most times that I take work a little too seriously, but I have a bigger part in the company than most people. Entertain me. How am I gonna entertain you? I don't know. I might go tan. Go tan. Go tan, relax. I know it brings you joy. <laughs> I think that every job you have, you should have fun with it. And if you're not having fun with it, you're not gonna do well at it. Can I have some lotion? Do you need me to rub some on your back? You, you you want, why spot? are you coming with me? Come on, I'll get in trouble. I'll get in trouble. Well, who's gonna get you in trouble? Come on. Be surprised. Let's go. You'd be surprised. Let's go. Just come rub it on I'm my not, back. I'm not. I'm, okay. Come rub it on my back. Ooh. Behave yourself. Come on, honey. Behave yourself. Ow. <laughs> I gotta go. I have to go. I have to. No, go. No. I have to watch the front. I have to watch the front. No, it's not fair. I watch the front. I know it's not You're fair. Finish. You can not finish. Fair. Finish what you started, right. honey. We wanted to bring you girls here to discuss your performance. Our concern with the Ollie girls has been their performance in the salon. You know, it's the little games that they play they think are cute, and it's not. It's unprofessional. We want them to grow with the company and grow with us. We just have to find out the perfect fit for them. Devin and I have gone back and reviewed everything that you guys have done. There's company rules and policies that you guys, everyone needs to follow. Girls, the bottom line is this, you know, Devin and I both feel that you're very valuable for the company. You've got to prove yourself, though. We just want to put you where you guys would do the best. And what we That's think we'd like to steer you towards is maybe doing some marketing and promos for us. You know, girls, if you can get out there and hit the streets. Your job is basically bringing people to the salon. We want to see you succeed, and I think this could be a better fit for all of us. So oh, we're excited. I'm excited to see how you guys do. <laughs> Yay. Hey, Steve. <laughs> how you doing? What's up? How are you? Ready for another shot? All right, we're here for you. I feel like a little pale. <laughs> You've been here every day this week. Let's get you more tan. Steve is a regular client. He's been coming here for a couple years. He's a, one of our best clients. He's definitely a tanorexic. They come in a little bit too often, and they just love to be tan. Your account is up, so you want to go ahead and read now. Yeah. You've done um, many hundred packs, so obviously you want to do that again, correct? All oh, right. OK. And then sure. you probably want to get some product you're about out, right? Yeah. All right, so this is the best stuff we have, which you've done before. Yeah, I like that stuff. Sweet. And did you want to do it all in one payment, or did you want to make payments? Yeah, let's do it all at once. Get out of the way. So it's 1,326. You know, I'm proud of Aaron for jumping in there and trying to, you know, take over. But to be honest, he's such a regular client that he would have bought that 100 pack from anyone. All right, well, we have you so set cool. up, so you're good to go for quite a while now. So yeah. we'll put you in bed number two. Enjoy. Ready. Thanks, all guys. All right. Nice Bye-bye. See ya. Hello, $1,300 sale. I mean, he does, you know, he buys 100 bucks every three months, so it's not <laughs> that amazing. Yeah, but it's still a $1,300 sale. True, true, true. And true. money in my pocket. I would recommend those slow down. You're, you're talking a little bit fast. You're talk, 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 talk. Am I? Yes, you get nervous. I was feeling really good about my big sale, um, but Janelle brought me down, you know. I just seem like I can't do anything right when she's around. I definitely, I understand it's $1,300. Okay, cool. Say nothing. Less is more. The more you talk, the more you're gonna lose the sale. He was easy because he's, you know, been here for years. Comes in every day. Biggest tanorexic I think we have. I got my feelings hurt, but it's time for me to toughen up and it's time for a new beginning. Well, it is a sale. <laughs> Still. Thirteen hundred dollars actually. So. That's true. Yep. You needed it, girl. Hello. Nick, it's Jeff. Dude, what the f going on over there? What's up? No one's picking up the phone. I've called four times. You can't do that. You're my manager, dude. You got to step it up. I don't care. Who knows who's calling right now? We're here. We're here, yeah. Whatever, dude. Listen, more importantly, I've got the biggest guy right now for franchising. He came out to LA, kind of unexpected trip. I'm touring the salons. Real important, dude. He wants to take us nationally, and I need the salon's pristine condition. I need all the rooms cleaned. I need you to walk around, make sure it's absolute, absolute perfect. Well, it's gonna take 10 times as long to, to do. I don't care, drop everything and get it done. I need you to print out 10 months of the past uh, sales report. Kidding me right now, dude? Just get it done, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Unbelievable. That's exactly what I don't wanna f deal with, so I hate this job. God, I swear to God, he's like, he's bringing some franchise guy or some 
He's gonna get you and yell at me and cuss at me. Really yeah, he's cussing me. You're like, Julia Gold six times. The phone's not ringing. Who's working? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You should stop cussing him. He's gonna cuss at me one too many times. Coming up. What do you guys think about me moving salons? Jeff, gonna come in and ditch bitch. Because of him being not prepared, you're gonna stress about it. Hey, when you get like this. I got a phone call today from Jeff who informed me that a franchise specialist was coming into the salon needed to be immaculate, which means there can't be a hair on the floor. It was a little short notice, and it really did piss me off. I don't want to get to you. Chill out. He's going to come in and bitch, bitch, bitch. I'm doing everything I can, but he's like expecting me to. What, you have to put a package together? Like, what does he want? Yeah, you to I know. Do? He wants me to pull reports and stuff. But the thing is, is he knows when, when stuff's going to come up and he just springs it on me. Like, I mean, having the salon clean is not a problem, but he needs to give me notice of when, like, well, God forbid I wasn't here today, then what's he gonna do? He's gonna show up and he's gonna start freaking out. Like, seriously, he's gonna talk to me the wrong way one too many f times. Because of him being not prepared, you're gonna stress about it? You can't, like, it's really annoying. I hate when you get like this. Work is work. It's what allows me to take her to nice dinners and do things, so I think she's not understanding that this is serious. I need a wet towel for the mystic. better than working in salon. It's one's dumb. So today we went and walked the street. We did our Sunset Tan promotion. We handed out so many today to everybody. Want some free tan? Hi, cowboy. Hey, he you? needs tan too. You want some of these? I know you do. Thank, Thank you. you. We had approved to Jeff and Devin that we're good for this store. We're not nope. going anywhere. We just Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do you want to go to Sunset Tan for free? What's this? Legendary bingo. Oh, you want to check it out? Hi. We were just on the street passing out free tans. Do you guys want to play bingo, too? Yeah. So yeah. welcome to bingo. How long is this? Do you want to call our first number? Not after, but... Yeah. Yay! Yeah. It is on. Yeah. Next we have... N36. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, You have these really nice gift bags from Sunset Tan. <laughs> I swear to God. How you doing? What's up, guys? How you doing? How's it going? Hi, I'm Mark. How are you? Nice to meet you, Mark. So Nick. Hey, guy, Mark. Came out from uh, Scottsdale. We're looking to launch across the United States. This guy can certainly take us to the next level. Uh, this is going to make us or break us. What makes us different than Santa Monica? Um, it's the premier store. You know, it's got best location. We've established ourselves here. We have a giant clientele, I mean, as far as all the other salons. Nick, what do customers like about this? Just the convenience of the store, being able to get in and out. It can be discreet for the celebrity clientele. So you got a lot of repeat business, I'd assume? Yeah, repeat business is huge, but we do get a lot of walk-ins, you know? It's word of mouth. When Mark came into the salon, he drilled Nick with a bunch of questions, uh, and I was real impressed with Nick. How about sales, though, Nick? My belief on sales is just either something you either have or you don't. I mean, you want, you know, somebody with a strong personality. The real success of the business is the guy behind the counter, so that's why I hit him pretty hard. I think Nick has done a, a great job in here, and he could be a good model for us moving forward. Looks great, but how are the numbers? Right? Yeah, I'd say exactly. This one actually was the last couple print. weeks, or this uh, one? Yeah. Last week. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, yesterday. That was yesterday? We had a good day yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. That was actually, you know, it was, it was a lower end. It was a lower, lower end day. All right, Nick. Um, appreciate your help, buddy. Great. Great. Job. Really We're off, We're off to uh, Studio City. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Thanks for the time. I have to ask you a question. What's up? 
I was just curious, like, because I have been here um, six months and stuff, and I've worked, like, my schedule's been pretty open. I just feel like I've put so much into it, I'm just kind of ready for a little bit of a break, just a small break. Like, are there any chances of me getting weekends, you know? Weekends like, off? Yeah, weekends off. Well, sweetheart, as you know, we base the schedule on numbers. And so right now, I can't give you weekends off. Janelle, she didn't seem too uh, eager to help me out, so it was frustrating. I can't take it anymore. What are the chances, like, what do you guys think about maybe me moving salons? I know me and Keely get along really well, and she's been training me, helping me out just a little bit. Are you telling me you want to change doors? Yeah. I don't really understand why you'd prefer West LA when you came from West LA and you told me you hated working in West LA because you didn't sell well there. Yeah. So well, I was brand new. I was brand new at that time and I didn't understand anything at that time. That's why I wasn't doing well. I was brand new. I'm just saying, like, maybe it will, would be better for both of us if I worked there. I'm just throwing the Here's option the thing, out there. Aaron, this is, this is where the problem lies between you and I. If you communicated with me better, you would sell better. I don't feel like there's a sense of communication at all. You don't call me, you don't ask me what you're doing, well, you don't ask me what, what can I do better. I am your boss. I am the person that you work with every day and this is your store that you work in every day. You need to be coming to me for advice. I'm just saying, me and Kiwi actually, like me and her are a lot alike, I think, so I feel it may work better. Janelle, she's very intimidating. And in the past, I would have never stood up to Janelle, but this time I actually told her how I feel and I'm feeling really good about myself. As far as you wanting to be promoted and be a manager, if you don't feel like you're you know, happy in the store and if that's what you want to do, that's not looking good on your part because what you need to do to show me and to show everyone that you want to be manager of Santa Monica is that you're willing to go the extra mile. If you're now saying, oh, I'm not doing well in that store, so therefore I want to leave, that's showing me you want to give up. I want you to sell well. And it's been six months and you're not selling well. So I, as a manager, need to find out totally. what yeah. is the best move. I could fire you. I, it wouldn't be a good idea to fire me. I'm a good employee. Why would you want to fire a good employee? I am not going to let Janelle get to me. We'll talk about it another time. Coming up. I could have blown up. I could have walked out and said, F you. So did you talk to Jeff? Hi. I'll be your Ollie girl for the day. I want to contour me some real girl boobs. So did you talk to Jeff? About like the whole thing. Do you apologize? Nope. He didn't even apologize yet. Nope. Wow. How do you feel? Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother you. You're not angry anymore. Are you over it? I got it done. That's the thing. Cause it was a test to me. You Obviously. Know, to see if I could have blown up. I could have walked out and said F you. Yeah, but that's not. That's immature. And nobody would in the right mind would do that unless they just couldn't handle it. But the thing is that you do like hyper stuff up about it. You know. I'm just in a little bit of a different position than you are. You know, as far as like, I do take it seriously, but like from a manager standpoint. It's different. It is just a tanning salon, like I've said, and it's like, I just feel like you're, if you continue going like this, you're gonna look like you're 80 when you're like 30. But I believe in taking things seriously. Like, I don't believe, like, life is not no, I know, fun and honey. games, you know? Like, but when you're at work, you're there to work. You stress yourself out, and you don't see yourself sometimes. It's like, you, you kind of get in the psycho mode. Sometimes I just worry about your stress level. I mean, I'm looking to move up. I'm, you know, there's like, there's a lot of opportunities. I like that you're so like driven and like you take it so seriously. You know, I just don't want it to like eat at you at oh, the no. end of the day. You know, because cool. I care about you. I'm totally cool with it. Okay, well, that's fine. If you're cool, I'm cool. Okay. Cheers for good health and fortune and sunset tan. Anya and I give each other a lot of, shit, but at the end of the day, it, it's all good. You know, we know how to lean on each other and we balance each other out. Just letting you know how I feel, honey. That's what I'm here for. I really hate it when you're right too. Aww. Hi, how are you? Good. I'll be your Ollie girl for the day. I'm just kidding. They oh. sent me in. They gave me a free tan. They came to my bingo game. They said you guys do custom airbrushing and stuff. We do. And I can contour me some real girl boobs. Uh, we could try. Um, I don't have my airbrush girl here right now, but... Um, so regular tan? Regular tan. I want to look like Peruvian. 
Just depends, do you want to do spray tan or do you want to do beds? Um, I'll do a bed. Okay. Let me show you um, the room. We'll get you Peruvian or as Yay. dark as we can get you. I'm going to look like a Sherpa. We're going to go in this one right here. You just pull it down on top of you. Make sure you wear the eyewear. That's okay, it. thank okay. you. You're welcome. And the restroom's right there if you need to Thank go. you, bye. really weird. I just kind of had to roll with it. It was really pretty uncomfortable. It wasn't one of my favorite scenarios. <laughs> Kill those girls. OK, I was the drag queen, just to... I, I know. Will you tell Holly and Molly I said hi? I will definitely do that. I'll make sure they're at your next bingo game. All right, cool. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye. I will send any drag queen I know who wants to tan to Sunset Tans. Oh, my god. I think I surprised him a little bit. He's very nice. Who's his boyfriend? Next on Sunset Tan. Pull up a chair. I would want to be as his regional manager. Just goes right to the top. Came by to show Heidi uh, the salon. That girl's a bitch. I'm so glad that you see this. I was so happy that Aaron was there with me. What did you have to say about Holly? Oh, Holly's ugly and <laughs> look at your <laughs> self. You haven't even met me and you talk <laughs> to me. <laughs> what is this? Are we in Compton? Are you in Compton on your ass? This is exactly what I didn't want happening. I'm did I start it? I don't want to hear you say exactly what. Like, the, like just no, I, honestly, I don't. 